This is Victor Campos, and we're continuing with our e-commerce with WordPress setup. On our previous videos, we've installed WAMP and WordPress, so refer back to those. If this is all working, you're going to go to your web browser, localhost, and you're going to see the WAMP server configuration screen. Everything seems to be running just fine. I have the little green icon here. Good. And after we install WordPress now, it says your projects include WordPress. So if you click that, that simply goes to the address localhost slash WordPress. And we see the front end of our current website, Victor's Bakery. By default, on the left, we have a variety of, of, uh, of items here, and we have a login, login button. So go ahead and click that, and that takes us to the login screen. Log in with the, with the username and password you created on the previous step. And now we're in the dashboard. So we'll take an overview about what WordPress is about. WordPress is a full-featured website creation tool that started off as a blogging platform that has evolved into much more. So our dashboard home is where we see uh, how many posts and pages and comments we have, any activity, latest news, etc. If we have updates to the platform, they'll show up under updates. We have something called posts and something called pages. If we look at pages first, these are the pages that show up on our site that don't change much. Think about an About Us page or a Contact Us page. Those won't change very often. Uh, in contrast, a post is like the blog. It's what will change on a regular basis if you decide, decide to add blogging capabilities to your site. So under Pages, just to see how this works, I'll hover over Pages and add a new page. And then we get our editing environment. I will call this About Us. So the title of the page will be About Us. And then I can start to edit, add content here. I like to turn on this option at the end, show the kitchen sink, which is more options for editing. So I'll just write Victor's Bakery, serving San Diego since 2014. We strive for the best, for the best in organic, free trade, vegan, gluten free, baked goods. And so I could add a picture, I could add sound, I could bold things, I could add links, etc. Pretty self-explanatory. At the top right, I have to then publish. The page has been published, and I can see what it looks like if I switch back to the front end. We're in the dashboard, the back end. If I want to see the front end, I hover over the name of my site, visit site. And now my site has, at the top right, in the navigation bar, sample page with which came with the WordPress installation and my About Us page. And that's what I wrote. I have a handy at the top here, new. I can add, let me add one more page. This will be contact us. And I'll just add an address for the moment. Publish. Go back to the front end, and I've got a new item about us. Contact us sample page. So new items are added automatically to my navigation. If I want to remove items, the sample page, for example, I'll go back to the dashboard. Click on all pages. There's the sample page and I can trash it.
it automatically removes itself then from the navigation. So pages automatically are added to your site's navigation system. You can of course edit the navigation, which we will look at on a later video.